Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a gradient background in a Squarespace 7.1 website. We're going to take a look at a code that will change the background of the entire page from the first section all the way down to the footer. And we're also going to take a look at how to separate that code so you can isolate just one section at a time. We're doing all of this using some custom CSS and the codes that I'm using are in the description beneath the video. But make sure you pay attention to how we actually use these codes so you understand how to change them so they'll work on your own site. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and we'll get started. So here we are in my demo site. I'm gonna head over to design and then down to custom CSS. That's where we're gonna paste these codes today. Now, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that any background section colors here are transparent so the gradient will shine through. So I'm gonna add the code that says page section, section background, transparent, and make it important. You'll notice it looks like everything's gone. That's just because my font was the same color as my background, but everything is still there. All those background colors are gone. Now, what we're going to do is take what's known as the site wrapper. That's the code name for the background of your site. And we're gonna say site wrapper background linear gradient. And this background starts at a solid black and then fades to a teal color at the very bottom like this. And you'll see it goes through our entire site from the very first section all the way down to the footer of the site. Now gradients are really, really interesting. You have all kinds of options here. This one just goes directly to the bottom, but you can say something like to right if you wanna get it to go to the right side or the left side, or you can even specify a degree. Let's say 45 DEG to have, oops, it doesn't need a space there. There we go, 45 DEG to have that gradient go at an angle, lots of options there. I actually have a free guide to getting started with gradients that breaks down gradient codes and actually has 35 of them ready for you to copy and paste out of the guide to try on your own site. You're gonna head over to insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient to grab a copy of that PDF for some more creative ideas. But let's assume you know which gradient code you're gonna be using. How do we apply this to just one section and not the whole site? Let's start fresh here. We have this uh, first section, second section, and third section listed on my site. You'll notice I've actually added the code name for those sections right here. We're using a pseudo class called the nth child, N-T-H, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but uh, we can use that to identify which number uh, of section we're actually going to be addressing, so in which order it is. So the second section would be the nth child two, third section is nth child three, just some basic numbers there. So let's try to change the background of just the second one, leaving this first section and this third section right where they are. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is identify that section background and again, set it to transparent, okay? Like we did with the first code. And then I'm going to add the code that says, okay, taking that page section, nth child two, I want you to give it a linear gradient of 30 degrees going in this direction and check it out. The first section's fine, the third section's fine. It's just this second section that got changed. So again, that's the pseudo class of nth-child, and then you specify the number or the order in which you'd like to apply this code. So uh, another example here, let's update this code for the third section. I'm just gonna change that number two to the number three, and there we go. Now the third section has that color and the other ones are just fine. So let's go ahead and change it to one. We'll start with the very first one at the top. Now you'll notice the third has been reset, the second's been reset, and now this top section is the one that's been isolated with that particular gradient code. So regardless of which section you do, just make sure you select save on the top left-hand side when you're done, and that will be applied to your website. So again, the codes we use today are in the description beneath the video. They are our codes to do the entire page with what you're working on from the very first section all the way to the footer at the bottom. And then there are also codes to help you isolate the section by specifying which number it is in the order of sections on that particular page. And one more time I'd like to mention, if you don't know much about writing gradient codes and you'd like to learn, I do have a free guide for you available at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. And that's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.